This section heading is called Reflecting Session IDs. So what we're going to do within this section is we're going to have Bob, the attacker over here, post a script element inside the vulnerable form that's hosted on the Eurobank server. The functionality provided by this script element is going to enable any connecting clients that visit that web page to have their session IDs sent back to Bob where he's going to have a collection server running. So now this script element is located inside of a file inside of the lab9 directory. So if we open that file up, what we're going to do is we're going to copy that script element. So once we have it copied, we'll just close both of these windows and then we'll proceed to the Eurobank portal to log in to actually access that forum. So now we'll type Eurobank.com. We'll log in as Bob. And now on the forum, we're going to post that script element. So we'll paste it in first. So now before we actually post this, let's go over how this script element reads. So we're looking at the document.write JavaScript property. So this is commonly used to update web pages. Now what we're looking to write is over here. So we're looking to write an image that's at this location to this current web page right here. So we don't actually specify an image, so what we're going to expect to see when it's posted is an unresolved image. And then once again, we're using this document.cookie JavaScript property, which can be used to detect the presence of session IDs. Now when used in this fashion right here, what's going to happen is the session IDs are going to be sent to this location right here. So this is the attacker station located at this IP. And then on that station, they're going to have a collection server that's going to be listening on port 8000. So now we'll post this and we can see the unresolved image down here. So now this whole process here when we post it's stored inside of a file called com.html and then what happens here is we actually inject that element into the client side file that the clients receive. So that each and every time this page essentially um, loads or refreshes that JavaScript is going to execute. And then once again, this is going to send their session IDs to that remote location. So now we can view this on the client side just to verify that the complete script element is within the file. And we can see that it is. So now we'll just close both windows and we'll proceed to the next section.